they are over there. Walking back to where we were, just because. That's just life. Hello, you two. Oh, that's awesome. That is very cool. I wonder if we shouldn't stick here for a little bit. They might come towards us. Tracy, yes, absolutely. Oh, that's a very distinctive ear notch, the one on the right. That's easily identifiable. We'll know this rhino when we see it again. Tracy, the proximity of the lions would definitely not stop. Um, uh, the, the proximity of the rhinos would not stop the lions from hunting. Definitely wouldn't bother them. It's not to say that the black rhino might not chase them. It's entirely possible. I've seen black rhino chase lions before. It's definitely something that they would do. They're angry little tanks of an animal. The smallest species that we get in Africa. Oh, that's so cool. Jumbo Jumbo! Are you okay there? Just a vehicle coming past me. Oh, these rhinos are coming right to us. This is so epic. No, there's no reason why the lions wouldn't hunt. They know they're much faster than a black rhino. Look at that. You can see the upright head posture. Now, I walk in the rain. You want to know if there's any rhino calves in the area. There is apparently a female with a calf, quite a, a large calf, not a new, nude little baby. Uh, it's entirely possible that there are more of them with young ones. I'm not 100% sure. Obviously, we still haven't got to grips with exactly how many rhino are out here or around the area that we drive in. So there could be more. Black rhino are a lot more gregarious than originally thought. They actually do spend quite a lot of time socializing together. They're not as solitary. Certainly the big mature bulls spend a lot of time on their own. Now, I'm sure you've all seen that fascinating footage from a documentary series with the black rhino around a waterhole where the one picks up a, a kudu skull on its horns. It's beautiful. Hey, you two. Oh, I'm so excited to be seeing rhino and to be sharing them with all of you. It's so special. Uh, Shamsun, this is the only species of rhino that you're going to see here. Um, there's no, as far as I know, no white rhino in this area. There might be one or two hidden away somewhere. This is a young one. I think this is a mother and a mature calf, would be my guess, as to what dynamics we've got here. Hard to tell. I can't see exactly. Obviously, I can't see between their back legs, which is the only way of telling the difference. In long grass like this at greater distance. Now, the, one of the big reasons why we do show rhino here is in answer to Tammy in Ohio's question, yes, they are heavily protected here. They will always have a monitoring team with them. Jumbo. They'll always have a team with them, monitoring them. We might not always see them. The point is for them to remain hidden. But they are here and they are protecting them. And because there are not that many of them left here, it means that they do get relatively individual attention. And, of course, it's such a massive area that it's much, much safer to spend time with them. So, yes, the animals are, all animals here are heavily protected. The one thing that I've noticed about the amazing Kenyan people that we've met is the great pride that they take in their wildlife and the great care and love that they have for the animals here. Not that that's not the case in South Africa, but it is definitely the case here as well. There are some very, very dedicated people who protect these animals. Hey, you, with your torn up ear. Turn around. Robert, there are a couple of very big differences between a white and a black rhino. And I'm just going to get us closer to where they're going. Robert, one big difference is the size. White rhino are much, much larger than black rhino. Ah, oh, they're going right to the road we were on. Oh well, such is life. Um, the other big difference is the way that they hold their heads. 
And the reason is, white rhino are grazers, black rhino are browsers. White rhino keep their heads to the ground more often than the black rhino. White, black rhino keep their heads up. And what that means is that because white rhino are heavier, they've got longer heads, they have a big hump on the back of their shoulders where the muscle attachment forms to allow the rhino to hold the weight of their head. White rhino, big broad lip, top lip, because they use that to crop grass. Black rhino, hooked lip, because they use that to break off branches. And a very, very distinctive 45 degree angle. That is the sign of a black rhino feeding. And I don't want to go too far.